Welcome back folks to the stock estate, okay? I'm Next Financial Advisor and today we're going to be talking about two stocks, two absolutely dip buying delicious stocks that we have to get for the month of November. Let's get into it. Okay, so firstly, the first one I'm going to talk about is actually Rocket Company. Okay, so Rocket Company, what is Rocket Company? Okay, Rocket Company engages in the mortgage business in the United States. Okay, it's involved in uh, originating, processing, underwriting and you know, uh, predominantly doing some mortgage stuff. Okay, they also have a pretty diversified business. Okay, they have uh, they're in fifty states. Okay, they they do marketing as well. They do title insurance. They do property valuation, settlement services. So you can see that from this on, right? They 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 do a lot of um side businesses or a lot of subsidiaries. But however, their main their main main business is still in the housing environment. Okay, where they do financing, personal loans, car support loans. Etc. Etc. Okay, so now you know what's the basic fundamentals of what Rocket Company is. Okay, so now just look at uh, its current price. Okay, its current price is now at twenty dollars and ninety five cents. Okay, if you look at the the technical charts over here, Rocket Companies, right? Okay, you when it's very first IPO around um back then. Okay, it was rising up from eighteen dollars all the way up. Huge dip here, boom, all the way up here to 30 plus dollars. Okay, and then since then, okay, it started dipping quite a lot, okay, as you can see, it's after dragging down by uh, huge market conditions like the presidential elections, uh, and general, overall general market weakness, and it got dragged down all the way to as low as back at its IPO price of around 17, 18 dollars. That's crazy. Okay, so why is this such a good opportunity right now to dip by? Okay, you can see here that we already found a bottom here. So the value is there. Okay, so now just look a little bit more about the fundamentals itself. Okay, so fundamentals wise, I read through you know, the, the conference calls. I have done the hard work for you guys. I have go read through the conference calls a few times, you know, uh, and here's what I found that's most interesting. Okay, so basically, um, the summary of the entire point I'm going to make, right, is that the third quarter is going to be absolutely freaking awesome. Awesome, really awesome. Okay. And the fourth quarter eh, might not be. So I feel like this is a very, very good trade, uh, setup for a swing trade. Okay, so as you can see over here, right, Jay is one of their members. Okay, so uh, they expect third quarter closed loans to, off, to increase from 82 billion to 85 billion. So it's more growth. Okay, their previous growth was already pretty good, but they are continuing the increased growth and growing year over year and quarter over quarter. Okay, so lock volume from 93 billion to 98 billion. Okay, and they expect the third quarter margins to moderate. Okay, uh, although it's, uh, they expect to drop a little bit from Q2 because Q2, they were benefiting from the COVID crisis, right? But however, they, they, they believe that Q3 would do much better uh, than its average quarters. Okay, so it expects also the third quarter gain to, to increase the margins from 4% to 4.3. And that's actually really, really huge, uh, especially for a budding company like Rocket Company. Okay, and we look at this, right? So Rocket Company is also valued. It's also valued as a mortgage company. It's a mortgage business, right? But however, uh, we tend to forget that it's also a very tech-driven uh, company as well. And it also has other hand at other businesses uh, as well as like the title insurance uh, via MROC as well as the property and real estate agents search Rocket Homes. Okay, so they have a lot of arms everywhere. Okay, they have they are delved into a lot of business and they're actually really a tech company as well as a mortgage company and we are just not registering that. Okay, but looking back at the charts, right? Okay, so it's going to be a very, very good quarter. But okay, if you ask me to buy it at around $30, right? I'll be like, uh, not really because I feel like a lot of the growth has been priced in. Okay, as you can see over here, a lot of growth will have already been priced in. Okay, so uh, when they release awesome Q2 results of the, the profit margins of 80%, right? Uh, 80%, sorry, 80 of 80 million, right? Okay, it skyrocketed out so much. Oh my God, it's insane. Okay, but however, uh, if you ask me to, to buy it over there, I would not because a lot of the gains and the growth is already priced in. But however, okay, as you see, this dip is dipping all the way here, back to its IPO price. What? It's, it's, you'll be crazy, you know? So I can see this fundamentally valued at around uh, $26, around there $26. So um, if you buy in at the lows here, right, you can see a very decent pop up to around the resistance level of $24, which we have to evaluate. But it's a pretty decent swing trade from around here because we can expect uh, when they come out of their earnings call, right, the, the Q3 earnings call, it'll be, it'll be great. It'll be, it'll be very decent. Okay, and the, the company will definitely pop up to uh, $24 or most likely will pop unless the overall general market weakness drags down the stock again. Okay, but if you buy in at this point, okay, I would say it's a very, very bargain buy. Okay, uh, and 
I will definitely take profits on on uh, earnings itself. Okay, so it de- really depends. So my plan A, right? I always have mentioned, okay, be an investor with a plan. So my plan A, okay, if this stock didn't, re- didn't really, it just, just trades around 21, 22, 21, 22, 20, 20, 21, 22 for a long time until the earnings call at November uh, 6, right? Oh, my, my apologies. Okay, so November, November 11th. Okay, the earnings call is at November 11th. So if it trades around here, I'll probably hold through earnings because I know I, I'm I'm quite confident that the earnings will be pretty good or even better than Q2. And then you you can expect a very decent pop up. Okay, but however, okay, if I see that the this 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 stock price has been uh, increasing very very rapidly all the way to 25, 24, 25, 26 dollars uh, before earnings, that means the market is actually pricing in the earnings. And many many people actually realize this opportunity with me as well. So I'm not the only one, okay? And I'm not going to claim that I will be the only one. So a lot of people will definitely realize this opportunity and they will start buying in. So if it's around, it, it grows up to around $24 right before earnings, I'll probably take profits then. Okay, um, do I see this as a long-term buy? I would say not really, not yet, because uh, I would say there's still better companies to actually um uh, a buy but however this company is uh i'll say you can buy it you can start a small position for a longer term investment uh, at this price point it's really it's really very valuable i feel like i can see much value in this uh price point and it can probably grow higher year over year uh, next time but for me okay i feel like since i know that um Q3 is going to be good. I'm probably going to swing trade this on Q3 earnings. And if you look at this right now, right, uh, what I like, really like about, about the company is that they, they, they focus a lot on company culture and they are a very united uh, company itself. Okay, as you can see here, they, they re-emphasize that culture is everything they do at Rocket Companies. Okay, they have a lot of things like the 19 principles at ISM. Okay, everybody has been uh, doing this for the last 35 years. Okay, they are pretty gelled together. I can see future growth uh, coming in. Uh, but however, okay, I'd like to warn uh, a small warning case. Why do I not hold, why would I not hold this for long term yet? Okay, I would probably trade this for a while. It's because um, the typical outlook, okay, the US mar- market, right, the US real estate market, the lower sequential, there'll be lower sequential volumes in the fourth quarter compared to the third quarter. So we can actually see Q4 uh, being not as well uh, as, won't, won't probably do as well as Q3. Okay, so hence my plan here is to swing trade Q3. Okay, wait for it to wait for it to fall back when Q4 comes out because people's expectations will be uh, pretty pretty um, uh, you'll be not did not perform that well. So hence, their Q4 will not the stock price will probably drop, and then I'll actually uh, start a, maybe a small position uh, for my long term investment. Okay, and that's about it for uh, RKT. Okay, can can see uh, rocket companies. Okay, that's about it for rocket companies. The next big 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 stock I want to talk about is uh, Baba. Okay, Alibaba. Okay, Alibaba. Woo! Alibaba. Okay, Alibaba is one of the s- most solid stocks. Um, that's Alibaba. If you still don't know what Alibaba does, okay, then um, I will explain to you right now. But I'm pretty sure most of you know what Alibaba is. Okay, but Alibaba is probably in e-commerce. Okay, they are based in China. They they have a lot a lot of uh, market segments. Okay, they 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 are seven hundred billion, seven hundred eighty eight billion dollar market cap company okay there's only a few companies out there which is bigger than them okay so they're a pretty solid company so they are like the amazon of china right so they are they have lazada they have uh, taobao they have a lot of these kind of uh, subsidiaries as well okay but however you know these last few days the market has been super rallying super hard super 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 hard okay but however this stock has actually been tanking what what okay last few days remember the the awesome the awesome rally by the the the, blue, the big blue chip companies like amazon facebook and and uh, apple Okay, for them, they, they dropped 8%. Then they rose up a little bit more, and you can see they, they rose up a little bit more back to 295, and they tanked again. What? Okay, why? Why? What happened? Okay, so basically, okay, uh, look at this article over here. Okay, uh, um, that, that's a, that they have a stick in this financial company called N Group. Okay, and is supposed to to boost their boost Alibaba standing in the entire uh worldwide actually. But however, this 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 entire N Group right got suspended from its IPO. Okay, and it resulted in an eight point one percent plunge on Tuesday. Okay, so this is a very it's kind of a bad news per se. Okay, and but I think I do think personally that the market is overreacting to this. They are overreacting too much. Okay, so firstly, okay. Uh, N Group is very huge. Okay, it's a huge financial sector. Uh, although China's China's uh, government, okay, they they decided to curb it. 
they don't want to uh they want to impose more restrictions because you know uh, Jack Ma has said some pretty offensive stuff about the Chinese government and they don't they like hey, you know I, I I don't like you Jack Ma so they, they decide to you know call him in I guess stop suspend the the IPO of N Group okay but I do believe that N Group will will still be listed okay because so much money has already been pumped to it okay and and China will not miss a chance. For, for Alibaba to, you know, um, get an edge up over these international rivals like US, like the Amazon, the big companies. So they do want Alibaba to prosper. Okay, but at the same time, they want to, you know, curb um, Jack Ma a little bit because um, this, his company is getting a bit too big, okay, and uh, they feel like he's getting a bit too cocky, you know what I'm saying? So they decide to curb it. Okay, so as a result, there's a whole huge overreaction which, which dropped from its all-time highs of 317 uh, 317 uh, stock price USD down all the way as low as around $279, okay? So, wow, okay, so I believe that this is only a very short-term drop, okay? Very, very short-term drop, very, very short-term drop, okay? Uh, when an IPO finally releases or uh, blockbusters as an IPO, it will shoot back up again, okay? Because this this IPO suspension, right, doesn't affect its fundamentals, okay? It doesn't say that, uh, you know, uh, uh, Aliba- uh, uh, Alibaba is losing a financial arm, yada, 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 okay? Not really, okay? So, it doesn't affect the fundamentals of Alibaba, and hence, it will definitely rally up back up here. So anywhere from around $279 all the way to $290, I would say it's a very, very, very bargain buy. As you can see, I draw one trend line over here. Okay, it has been going year over um it has been going following this trend line on the office lows. Okay, going up, back down, going up, back down, going up, back down. Okay, and finally broke below this trend line. Okay, but however, if you look at the closely at the technicals here, right? I can see there's there's two hammers over here. Okay, okay. This is technical, so it's a bit of technical jargon. So bear with me. So let me explain what does this mean. Okay, so, uh, that means the market. There's one point of time the sellers pushed the price as low as this. Okay, but however, the buyer says screw you. Okay, I'm I'm not accepting this price. Okay, they're they're pushing it all the way back up here. So you can see at this price range, right? There's a lot of buyers which are saying screw you. Okay, they uh, we're not letting you. We are willing to buy these prices. We're not letting this drop even lower okay and you can see there's a nice support line over here as well 266 okay but it's a little bit low but however i can see that um a lot of, a lot of buyers are around this area around the 279 to 285 area so this anywhere here will be a pretty bargain buy okay it will at least go back to uh, i can see it going back at least to the the moving average here of around 306 very easily very very easily okay and and if and ipo actually uh ipos right Boom, okay, I can see it breaking past the resistance level. Okay, so for you, right, you can you can look to this as a nice swing trade. Okay, you can you can buy it around 280, uh, last last closing price around 288. Okay, you can buy here, you can sell around 219 for a quick uh let's see, quick uh $30 US per share t- profit. Okay, so if you, you buy 10 shares, there'll be $300 USD. Okay, quick, quick profits. Okay, uh, it's pretty simple. Okay, but then from here on, you can you can look at the fundamental news and decide whether you want to take half profits, you want to take full profits, you want to let it ride longer. Okay, but I do think that Alibaba is, is set well for a longer term uptrend. So, yeah, so I do believe that this is a very, very uh, important and uh, good, good opportunity to buy the dip. Okay, and if you miss this, okay, it's probably gonna pop up back up again. And oh, okay, well then you have missed your chance. So this is pretty time sensitive. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Okay, I am um, for the my new subscribers. Thank you very much for subscribing. Okay, I really appreciate you guys. Okay, and I hope you all make some money. Okay, please uh, smash the thumbs up button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And always be an investor with a plan. Stock and stay down.